my friends that own breweries in bigger uh, parts of the country, Boston, San Francisco, they can't believe how much beer we're selling out of rural Delaware. But then I remind them that I get to live at the beach. This is about as dressed up as I get. I live two hours from DC, Baltimore, Philly. In just over three hours using the Amtrak train, I can be from my house to downtown Manhattan. So it's actually an awesome geography to hit a really big fraction of this country's uh, uh, population and wealth uh, to work and live here in Delaware. The other advantage to living in a, a small state that doesn't have giant cities in it is land is relatively affordable. So while our restaurant brewery is literally steps from the boardwalk in beautiful downtown Rehoboth Beach, where we're sitting today in our production brewery in Milton, Delaware, is a bit inland, surrounded by more farmland. So we were able to buy a, a pretty big chunk of property and to grow in an affordable space, own our own real estate, whereas if we were in a big city, we might have had to rent very expensive real estate and it'd be a lot harder to create profits and create jobs in that kind of environment. I think it's in the DNA of a very small state to prioritize the interests of very small companies. So, you know, it's almost like we are, the way Dogfish is a David in the world of Goliath, the multi, uh, national conglomerates that dominate the beer world. To some extent, Delaware is a David in a world of Goliaths when you look at the giant states that are out there. And I think our legislators and our regulators get that. And they work really hard to customize solutions because they can customize solutions because they're nimble and they're entrepreneurial themselves.